everybody. Today I'm going to be making a wand out of a piece of rosewood and some African blackwood. So I'm pretty excited about this. I don't usually use really exotic hardwoods in a project. So I'm pretty excited to see how this is going to turn out. I hope all you guys had a wonderful Easter Sunday, Easter weekend. Um, I certainly did. We had company over. That was pretty fun. Sales are going really good. I made a bit of money since the last time I saw you guys. So I'm getting closer to buying a new bandsaw for myself. I have about $600 to go. Again, please visit my eBay store. I'll put the link down in the description. Go check out that. I put a bunch of pens on there now, so you got a little more variety to look through. Those pens are pretty much the same style. It's a slim style pen kit from Craft Supplies USA, I think the brand is. Those are each $15 or $20. Uh, the wand I'm gonna make today, I'll probably list that depending on when you check my eBay store. I don't know if the pens and the wand and everything will still be on there. But still, check it out. It will help me out a ton. All right, so let's get right into this. The piece of wood that I'm using is rosewood. I'm using the skew for most of the initial turning. I'm making a tenon so that it can fit into the handle. The tenon is eight millimeters to fit an eight millimeter drill bit. actually using a roughing gouge to smooth over the rest of the wand shaft and to remove some material a little more quickly. Sanding starts at 180 to remove any high spots and I'll finish up with 600. I've actually rigged up a little dust collection system for sanding. It's just my hose clamp down with a hose clamp to the side of my lathe. I'm finishing with a beeswax and mineral oil mix. My lathe speed is at about 1500 RPMs because the trick with beeswax and mineral oil is you want it to just melt into the wood. After that, I applied three coats of raw beeswax and buffed it out with paper towel. it off with my skew. And I'll finish that with the hacksaw. I'm using African blackwood for the handle of the wand. This was pretty hard to turn because it's such a dense wood, so I was back and forth to the bench grinder quite a bit. Unlike most of my projects, I did actually have a design in mind for this. 
executing it went a little differently than planned, but it all came out good in the end. same beeswax and mineral oil finish with three coats of raw wax for the black wood. Here I'm drilling out the hole to fit the tenon so I can attach the handle to the shaft. 
I'm doing this with an 8mm drill bit, and this would be a lot easier to do on the lathe, but I don't have a drill chuck set up for that. I'm using some 5 minute epoxy to glue the shaft to the handle. That's it for this week's project guys. Thank you for watching. The final length on the wand is 16 and a half inches. 16 and a half inches. I'm fairly happy with it again. It was African blackwood and some type of rosewood. I think it was called Yucatan rosewood. Either way it came out wonderful. A um, few things, if you noticed, I glued in the shaft to the handle using a uh, quick set epoxy. That was because the handle just had the tiniest bit of play in it. Not a whole ton, but I wanted something that might fill a little better than wood glue would, so that's why I went with epoxy on that. This one will be for sale on my eBay store. I'll put a link in the description to the... The listing that has the wand and another link that will take you straight to my eBay store again if you don't know what's going on I am trying to get money for a bandsaw it is a Grizzly ultimate 17 inch bandsaw I do have a bandsaw it's right here and while this bandsaw works and is fully functional, um, the big thing with it is it's getting old, the switch just went bad, the motor's starting to go out. And the biggest thing I don't like about this is the maximum resaw capacity there is only six inches, so I cannot cut a very wide board. I will be selling pens and all sorts of stuff, which I already am. It's all on the eBay store. Go check out that, it will help me out a lot. One more thing before I let you guys go, if you noticed all around me, stuff is put back up, it, the fresh coat of paint is up, and that is because me and my dad finished up the drywall job in my shop finally just last week we did it. Fresh coat of white paint, it looks fantastic in here, I'm very happy. Video on that job will be up next Friday. Um, that will be from starting at the tape and mud seams all the way to painting it and putting stuff back together. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, please go check that out. Please subscribe for some of that. Like this video, um, share, check out the eBay store, and thank you for watching.